Hey guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today I want to talk about something uh, I've had a lot of questions on lately, um, mainly from people I work with, uh, but it, you know, it's something I've seen around a lot, talked about on the forums, all that kind of thing, and YouTube comments. Uh, I apologise for the noise of the, uh, the rain on the camera, I've had to cling film it because uh, there's a little bit of a tiny drizzle coming down. But yeah, I want to talk about the, uh, the grip of rifle sort of weapons manipulation methodology that uh, airsoft is, they have they have the to call it the magpul grip uh, purely because uh, Travis Haley and Chris Costa when they still work for Magpul Industries they pretty much popularised this grip with their uh, tactical carbine and dynamic carbine DVDs that they came out with which obviously ended up being pretty popular. Now this is going to be uh, an airsoft perspective um, like the, the reason I've had a lot of questions come to this, uh, to me personally, uh, is uh, because of a, uh, a video that I did a while back, uh, not posted. And you can click the link to watch here. I was shooting uh, HK416 while I was over in California, and uh, I was using what people term the Magpul grip. And because of that particular video, it's essentially just a focus. The camera is a similar position to how it was now. And uh, I'm shooting it something like this, with the with the elbow raised in the attempt to provide downward pressure on the forward end of the handguard to counteract the recoil from firing a full auto suppressed weapon. The thing with suppressor is that even though the HK416 is a piston driven gun, as most uh, most firearms actually are, uh, you will still get an increased back pressure going up and hitting that hitting that gas piston, which in turn hits the uh, hits the bolt carrier group, hits the buffer unit, and gives a slightly increased uh, recoil in the shoulder. And obviously then it's also increasing the rate of fire, and it's a full auto weapon to start with. So basically you, you need to, if you're shooting suppressed full auto, you do, you do need to get a really good grip on the rifle. You need to control it. So that's why it's basically I was employing this method, because e even then I was struggling a bit, because I'm not, I'm not a great shooter. I've never claimed to be, and I wouldn't claim to be. Um, but yeah, it, it, if you try to shoot a weapon like that and you're using this sort of grip really close, it, the, 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 the muzzle end of the barrel is going to be all, up, all over the place, it's going to be way up in the sky, it's, um, you know, it's, or certainly it's more, it's more likely that that would happen. You're going to have more difficulty controlling a full auto suppressed weapon uh, if you are using this, this closer in grip versus this extended grip on the uh, on the handguard. At the end of the day, it's the it's the muzzle end that is always trying to rise. So, ideally, and this is something I learned when I took the Falcon Ops course over there. One of the points the instructor made was that ideally, you hold a rifle something like that. You know, in, if you, if that was possible, but it's not possible. The next best thing is to grip the handguard at the pretty much the very end of it. Generally, you're going to have an iron sight right at the end of it, and which means you can't hold all the way up here, but you can hold about here. Now, as I say, that's with the real thing. This is airsoft, uh, <laughs> and it amazes me. It never ceases to amaze me how how riled up people get about the grip technique someone uses in an airsoft game. It's like, guys, it's a freaking game. Why do you care? The stars. Does it matter? Does it affect you? I don't think so. That aside, people say, well, why do you use it? Apart from the thing that you need to stop caring and stop getting your little cotton panties and you twist about it, because it really doesn't affect you and it doesn't matter. But that said, why do you use it? Well, personally, I find it more comfortable. I, can't, I find if I hold a rifle under this kind of a grip, like a lot of people, they, they like this Magwell grip, Reason being, it's less fatiguing on the muscles in your reaction arm because it's easier to hold a weapon like that. I could hold it like this all fucking day long, and my arm gets much less tired. You can actually rest your elbow here on your gear, and you hardly need to put any effort into holding that rifle up in the shoulder in the firing position. Out here, this takes a lot more effort. It, it's a lot more tiring. It just creates more lactic acid in your arm. It's more difficult. But I do find this for me. For me, I find very, I feel very 
cramped up, very confined. Uh, whereas more of an extended grip, it doesn't need to be all the way up here, like up on the fucking top of it, but not here, just that bit further out. To me, I, I feel I find that more comfortable. And if I didn't, I wouldn't use it in a, a game like airsoft, which is just a hobby. End of the day. Uh, so that's part of the reason. Also, uh, and something, this is the answer I tend to give people when they ask me in work is uh, apart from the recoil thing. And the, the best, the best analogy I've been able to find is something like this. If any of you've ever played a video game, whether it be on PC where you can change your mouse sensitivity or on a console where you change the sensitivity of the little uh, the thumbsticks. What, what essentially what moving your arm out here does is it decreases that sensitivity. You've probably all tried this on a computer at some point. You turn the sensitivity down and that means you can do that with the mouse, you can wing it all around the place and the mouse pointer hardly moves. So it makes it a lot easier to precisely position your mouse clicker or for example in video games if you're playing with a sniper rifle you're trying to hit a guy miles away you know his actual character is only ends up being a few pixels it's a lot easier with that low sensitivity to place the center of your reticule right where you want it to be the problem is in video games that when you do that you're you're then limited to where like you're trying to move say you're in a more of a close quarter situation with a pistol, if you would try to move in your, your guy would end up only being able to move about this quickly. It, you know, or if you're on PC, you're like whizzing your mouse and the guy's doing this. The difference is, in a video game that can happen, in real life, your arm is not slowed down. You can still move the rifle rapidly with this extended grip. However, when it comes to accuracy, when it comes to precision, exactly where this muzzle is going to be pointing, hence where your rounds are going to go, if it's further out, you can position it more precisely on what you're trying to aim at. You grip back here, you move quickly, and you get an over-travel on the muzzle. It's going to depend how much weight more you've got on the front end. Um, obviously, I've got, I've got a little bit up here, it's a fairly long hand guard, but it's quite a light weight skeletonized uh, and I do have a light which weighs a little bit but it's not too bad uh, if you had if you had a quad rail on your rifle and you've got a freaking peck box up here you've got a boost you've got a surefire you've got a pressure switch for it you've got a forward sling mount on there you've got um, you know depending on what the barrel is made of if you have a steel barrel depending you know the, those quad rails have a lot of material to them you're going to have a, a lot of weight in front of your reaction hand, and the more weight is in front of this hand, the hand that's on handguard, the more weight you fall to that point, the more difficult it is to control it. And if you swing around quickly, you get this, you get this sway, you get this over trouble. Moving your hand forward means that the only weight I've got is from here. That's the only weight that is forward of the pivot point, and just you know, sort of high school physics stuff. That, that, there's less weight forward of it, so I've got control of all of this, whereas before I only had control of the receiver backwards. Now it's from here backwards. So it helps your accuracy, I find. Uh, again, this is Epsilon. If you want to use whatever fucking technique you want, crack on. Like I say, I see most people doing this. It's kind of funny when they have a vertical grip here as well. Um, but it, it's, it's a fucking game, guys. It doesn't matter. That's the key point I'm trying to get across here. So if you want to do that, you know, it's all right, especially the shorter barreled weapons. And you know, yeah, we're not trying to control the recoil with guns like even with a, this, you know, this KWA for a, for an airsoft gun has fairly strong recoil. But you know, I could obviously fire it in full auto using this closing grip. Uh, and you know, it's not the muzzle's not going to kick around up on uh, it's not going to flip up on me too much or uh, at all, really. But the accuracy, I find uh, that that sort of decreased sensitivity, as it were, on, on your aiming system, I find it works nicely. I find I can very quickly get onto my target, especially I tend to play more CTB games, get it onto more quickly using a grip out here than I can back here. I find it not as, not quite as precise. The difference isn't huge, but it's there in my experience. And I, 
especially with a, a longer metal constructed weapon, I find you get less over travel, less muzzle sway at the end of your movements when you're using an extended grip. So there you go guys. The, the, the message is that it doesn't matter what you use, the point is it doesn't affect you what someone else uses unless they're, you know, I, I can't think of any reason that it would, in fact, personally, uh, you know, just, it's a fucking game, just go and play, just enjoy yourself, stop caring about what other people do, unless they're cheating, if then, you know, it doesn't matter what grip someone uses, they can, che they can always cheat, they can always, you know, they can always be like, round the corner, blind firing, or overhand lobbing, blind firing grenades, doesn't, that's, you know, anyone can do that, that's not, a, you wouldn't, you shouldn't judge people because of what their, what their gear is or what, what their gun is uh, or what uh, grip technique they want to use in their fucking rifle, you know, and if that, if that doesn't seem logical to you then I think you need to rethink uh, your mindset quite frankly, uh, so yeah, that's just my thoughts on the matter, the advantages the advantages to airsoft in terms of the accuracy and the slightly increased control over the weapon. Yes, there's no recoil, which seems to be something people really focus on on forums. They're like, ah, well, why do you need to control recoil on an automatic electric gun? The answer is you don't. But there are other reasons for me and for other people. It's more comfortable than this, this cramped up grip. I find it. That's what I'm used to. That's what I always use. So just use what you want guys and when other people use something that's different to you just try 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 your best try your best try and remember it doesn't actually affect you it doesn't change anything about your experience of the day or your enjoyment of your uh, your airsoft skill just do your best and it's hard but try okay thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time